Well, we're going to pray here tonight, not only for our friend Abby, but as she and I have worked together in the past for helping people who have come out of the abortion industry, I know that it is her heart and mine as well to pray for all the people that have come out of the abortion industry, as has she, going back to people like Bernard Nathanson and, well, Norma McCorvey herself, the Jane Roe of Roe v. Wade, and so many others. I've been privileged to work with people like this on their journey since, since the early 1990s, actually. And there are so, so many that are on the verge of making that decision, which takes so much courage. We want to pray for them. We want to ask the grace of the Holy Spirit to come upon them. We want to ask that we all in our own way can be instrumental in them coming out of that dark enslavement to child killing. It's great to be here with both David uh, and Abby. Uh, the three of us all go back a very long time. I remember, David, the meetings we had getting 40 Days for Life situated nationally after the evident local success of that effort. And Abby and I actually go back, maybe she'll tell you some of the stories, to before she came out of the abortion industry. <laughs> like the day I prayed in front, remember the day I prayed in front of the clinic? She was looking out the window, and she said, I know that guy, he's Father Frank, I see him on TV. Can I go out and meet him? And her colleagues said, are you nuts? <laughs> but once she did come out, as with so many other leaders, we were so privileged to be able to help her on her journey. And as she'll tell you, now this is not about the spotlights and the microphones and the applause. This is about a long journey of healing, of reparation, of Lord God, please let me be an instrument. And we pray for this now. Please let me be an instrument to somehow, in some small way, bring this same amount of good into the world as unfortunately the evil I brought in through abortion. And we know God can make that possible. Lord, we pray for Abby tonight and we pray for so many of our brothers and sisters who have been trapped by the abortion industry but who in the name and by the power and by the blood of your son Jesus Christ have been set free and have been forgiven. So many of our brothers and sisters whose hands, whose, whose bodies were stained with the blood of the babies that they killed, who now are washed in the blood of the one who died for us and rose again. We thank you, Father, for that freedom, that liberation. And we thank you for the opportunity now to be able to witness to witness to the victory of life, the victory of mercy, the victory of truth. Thank you, Lord. May we all be part of that. And in union with St. John Paul II, who wrote this beautiful prayer in his encyclical Evangelium Vitae, we turn to the mother of all life and we pray, O Mary, bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living, to you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, O mother, upon the vast numbers of babies not allowed to be born, of the poor whose lives are made difficult, of men and women who are victims of brutal violence, of the elderly and the sick killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time. Obtain for them the grace to accept that gospel as a gift ever new, the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives, and the courage to bear witness to it resolutely in order to build, together with all people of goodwill, the civilization of truth and love to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. Amen.